Well, cheers everybody. What an epic day. I am absolutely wiped out, but it was fan-bloody-tastic. So let me tell you what the expectations were. It was just hoped that we'd get over 100,000 because we got 100,000 during the summer. And so then the idea was, well, we have to get more than 100,000 in order to show that we've got some kind of momentum going forward that we are building. And we know that it's the autumn and we hope that the weather isn't going to be shitty. And so if we get on it early enough, maybe we can get higher than last time. And then social media was buzzing with it and we were very hopeful because lots of people were saying they would bring along people that had never come on marches before. And so there was a ton of work put in from the People's Vote team, which is, which is uh, the main People's Vote campaign and all the other campaigns in the ecosystem working on this to drive up the numbers. And it bloody worked, didn't it? So we were hoping we were, we were hoping that we'd get like four or five times as much as is last time because it ha kind of had that look and feel from people who were registering for the march and what people we were say were saying and then it turned out to be over 700,000 by by the latest count and absolutely jam packed streets so for example um I was running the NHS against Brexit group in uh, outside the Dorchester in Park Lane we couldn't move for two hours so after a while I had to run ahead with my kids just to see what was going on so it was complete logjam but it was totally fine because the helicopters were going overhead we could see that they were seeing us the sunshine was glorious the mood was lovely there were bands playing there were cheers there was lots of fun stuff going on and it really had an absolutely amazing vibe and uh, and Leave Means Leave and all, and all the leading Brexit campaigns, they knew this was coming, which is why they took out a full page in the Times, the prestigious elite Times, to complain about loser elitists, um, which was hilarious. But then they were also driving vans around with the same measures, you know, losers vote, losers vote. Well, yeah, well, if you get your own way, then we're all losers and yeah, we want to vote. But... Those vans were getting driven around and Jacob Rees-Mogg was tweeting about it. So it's absolutely rattling them right now. It's absolutely rattling them. And the, the advertising for this march was great as well. It really came together. The wrap around the evening standard, the advertising and the tubes, it was all on point and it all came together beautifully. And because we had so many diverse groups coming together today, um, LGBT plus the you know women for Europe best for Britain our NHS against Brexit the youth groups you know across a whole variety of of society it really really came together well um and you should see some of the footage of it it's absolutely glorious so this is what we always wanted to be doing which is being on the front foot whereby we are not chasing after the lies of the leaves campaign and trying to explain it away but rather we are setting the agenda ourselves saying this is what we want this is where we want to drive the country and then it's um the the, the brexity campaigns leave means leave that are trying to talk on our terms and pop our bubble so we're leading and they're trying to detract from it that's exactly where we want to be. We are controlling the terms now. We are saying what we want. So as the old phrase goes, um, first they ignore you, then they ridicule you, then they fight you, then you win. And that's the mission that we need to be on. We need to be doing this on our own terms and they can react to us however they bloody like. But we are putting our soul out there. We are getting out on the streets and marching out there. We're getting out through all of our towns and having presence there. And other people just have to catch up with us because we've had enough now. And now we're driving this forward. So here's the important thing. Because the question is, what, what next? You know, don't we can't rest on our laurels. Things are going fast. It's great footage. Yeah, yeah, go and share it. Go and share it and all of that. But what next? What do you need to do next? And here's the critical thing. Your MPs are not feeling the pressure. They are not feeling it in their sacks, in, in their mail sacks, in their in their inboxes, right? They're, they're not getting it from their constituents. So they think, oh, yes, that's a London march. Um, but it's not really what my constituents feel so strongly. They care more about badger culling or they care more about you know, uh, local issues that, that are unrelated with this. 
You need to let them know that this is a burning issue in their constituency, whoever they are. So the follow up for this campaign, this official campaign, is letter writing to MPs. And I've seen the official People's Vote put it out and it's not getting a lot of retweets. So it's kind of like wakey wakey time to, to be blunt here. Um, Yes, the imagery from today was great, but we really do need to follow up with our MPs. And also, I will be very blunt, sending emails isn't going to crack it. Lots of people get lots of emails in their inboxes. If you do handwritten letters, that is something that has more impact. It looks like it has more care with it. Get their postal address and do a handwritten late letter. And then, but wait, there's more, because here's what you really should do. Remember last year when the BBC were ignoring all of our marches and, and I said what we need to do is get all of our EU paraphernalia from the marches and send it through to the BBC. This is their complaints address. Do a collage of what's been going on in the marches. If you've got a little EU flag, send that through. If you've got bollocks to Brexit stickers, send that through and say this is what it was like on the march. You should have been there. I wanted to march with you. Do that with your MPs. Say, here's where I live, you know, just a few blocks away from your from your surgery. You know, here's what it was like on the march. Here's some of the best stuff. Here's my favorite pictures. Here's some of the things I was taking along. Send it to their postal address. Make your world envelop theirs. Get it out there. And then the next thing that you want to be doing is actually calling them up, calling up their staff and saying, I want to come along to surgery. What do you want to talk about Brexit? I want to talk about Brexit. I don't want to hear anything from your staff. I want to talk to the MP direct. This is what I did with my MP, um, uh, Stephen Hammond, here in, in Wimbledon, right? So I've, I've sent him emails before and I've got replies. You know, he's a nice, polite guy. And then I said, I want to come along to a surgery. What do you want to talk about? Brexit and specifically all of this. You know, why do you think da-da-da-da-da? Are you going to back this up? Da-da-da, I want to talk to you. Got no reply. Then I called up, talked to his staff and said, I want to come along to the next surgery. I want to talk to him specifically. When is it? Book me in. It's 2nd of November. I'm going to go and talk to him 2nd of November. And this is what you should all be doing. And I don't care who your MP is. You need to give them the heat, right? Um, so call them up, call up their team, insist that you come along to the next surgery and then over the next weeks as they roll on, when they actually see people coming in to talk to them, either individually or in groups directly about this, this is where you apply the heat because remember, everything that we want to achieve has to happen through Parliament. Parliament is 650 individuals. Each and every one of those individuals needs to feel the pressure. So that's what you need to be doing. You know, a lot of people travelled massive distances to this march today. They came on coaches from all over the bloody country, spending hours to get down and hours to get back and money to get down and back, OK? So we also need to apply that same kind of dedication now to our own MPs in our local areas. We need to focus on them and target at them and basically letter writing to them, physical letter writing to them, sending them paraphernalia in post. That's a creative angle which they will have never seen before in their um, careers as MPs, that kind of angle. And then calling them up and demanding that you or you in a group go along and discuss this with them. What are they going to do to protect the constituency against this complete mess? Are they prepared to ditch the whole lot in order to save their constituency? That's how you need to go in hard and fast now. You have seen how it's all opening up. This is an epic time in our history and this is the thing that we need to do now. So that's what I want you to take seriously. If you want to find your MP's phone number, go to parliament.uk. You can put in, in that little green box that pops up, your postcode, put that in, you get your MP's contact details. It is Sunday tomorrow, so write down the phone number, stick it on the back of your bedroom door, stick it on the fridge, stick it on the back of your front door, somewhere where it's going to niggle you and really annoy you until you actually do it, and then call that number. You just call that number and you insist that you get in there. That's what I want you to do tonight while you're feeling all pumped up and high on this is you make your plan for Monday because Monday has got to really descend upon them because time is short now and this is how we need to get in there. All right, cool. 
Good night, guys. Take care and 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 share and share this video to all of your friends and also discuss these points specifically with your friends so that you can engage in those coordinated efforts because you see what happens when we have massive effort and those coordinated efforts things like today happen and that is a piece of British history what happened today do not underestimate it now let's follow it up the right way okay cool good night guys